There are a lot of wood burning stoves out there known as debris stoves or twig stoves. They allow you to quickly get a fire going with any kind of debris you can pick up in your yard so you can cook or boil water quickly. This allows you to pack only the stove and not worry about carrying a consumable such as fuel which can weigh your pack down. Several of these wood stoves are also very popular for off-grid situations or emergency situations. I've had this video on my list of to-dos for about a year and it's just taken a while to get ready to do it and collect a few more stoves to make it more complete. Today we're going to do the ultimate wood stove comparison. Sometimes you need the perfect piece of gear. Sometimes you need to make the perfect kit. And sometimes you just need the perfect cup of coffee. Gear can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be. No BS, no agenda, no sponsors. Just what you need to know. Welcome to the ultimate. The first stove I purchased was this one from Bushcraft Essentials. And it's pretty cool because it folds down completely flat. It's also sometimes difficult to put together. Let's put it together real quick. There it is, put together. It is a little fiddly, no doubt. It's made out of stainless steel and it weighs 9.5 ounces. Dimensions folded down are 4.5 by 3.5 by 0.2. It's made in Germany. It is multi-fuel capable. It's got a solid fuel plate here if you want to use it. It's also got an extra plate that you can use to grill with on top. Also comes with these little stands that you can put up top, which will allow you to use a pretty small diameter pot with it. Cost is $39.99. A little bit of pros and cons. Pros, it's definitely compact, it's lightweight. It is high quality and it's a very stable platform. Even though it's small, you can put a good amount of weight on top of it. Has good ventilation and a nice size feed port. As far as cons, the biggest one for me is it's just fiddly to put together uh, and even more fiddly to take apart. You have to let it cool off completely and then it can be a pain to take it apart. It's not as flexible as some of the others that we'll see, but definitely a good stove. Next we've got this stove. It's made by a company called Ohuhu, but it's really branded by several different Chinese manufacturers. Comes with a nice little carrying case. Put it together very simply. You flip this around, push that through, and then put this on top, and then you've got yourself these pot stands just like that. It is stainless steel. The weight is 14.2 ounces, and the dimensions, once it's folded down, is 5.3 by 5.3 by 3. It is made in China. You can use different types of fuels. You can use solid fuels, maybe even put an alcohol stove in there if you wanted to. Cost is very good, $17.99. As far as the pros go, that's number one. The cost is very, very good. It's an efficient design. It is a gasifier stove, so it really burns very well. Very simple to assemble, and I think that's a pretty good and important quality to have. As far as cons go, it's pretty one-dimensional. It's fairly cheap construction. These, uh, these don't leave a lot of confidence. As far as stability goes, if you put them out like this, it's fairly, um, fairly good, but that limits the size of the pot you can use. And if you flip these inside, 
this can get very, very tenuous because it's not a flat surface. So I wouldn't really recommend that. Some of the newer versions come with a little plate that comes across the top that allows you to put smaller pots. Mine just didn't come with it. That's a look at the Ohuhu stove. We are kind of following the order of purchases that I made. And next, I bought this solo stove. This is another gasifier stove, and I purchased it with the optional pot that it fits inside of. So we'll just go ahead and get the actual stove out. It doesn't get any simpler as far as putting this stove together. Let's pull this center part out, flip it over, and you've got your stove. It's made out of stainless steel and weighs nine ounces. Dimensions folded down are 4.25 by 4.25 by 3.8. It is made in China, and the cost is $69.99, at least when I bought it. Pros, it is a fuel-efficient gasifier design. It has good quality construction, and there are multiple models. This is the smallest. They make this thing up into a fire pit size if you really want to. It is nice to have this optional nesting cup as well, so it's kind of a package deal. As far as cons go, it's very one-dimensional. I mean, you can't compress it down to a smaller form, which is kind of a bummer for me. It does have a limited uh, compatibility as far as the size of pot. You can't get too small, but it is a pretty good compromise. It's bulky and it is pretty costly. The other major issue is there's a lot of belief, and I believe as well, that Solo Stove kind of ripped off the Bush Buddy. The Bush Buddy is the original stove out of Canada. It looks pretty much exactly like this but Solo Stove just kind of stole the design and moved on from there. Obviously, it's still a company and they still produce a product, so it is a valid stove and we're gonna take a look at it today. Next stove is one of my favorites, the Firebox Nano. This is in the X case. We're gonna take a look just at the stove, okay, and none of the accessories. Let's get this together real quick. Just gonna, oh, yeah, oh. there you go, there's your stove. This particular model is made out of titanium and it weighs a pretty amazing four ounces. Dimensions folded are 4.75 by three by one quarter inch. It's made in China and the United States. It's an American company, but they do outsource certain pieces to make it cheaper for us to purchase these stoves. It is multi-fuel compatible. Uh, you can use wood, you can use these nano sticks. They basically fit in the side here, and the other one fits on the other side, and it's the perfect dimensions for the Trangia to fit right in there and be supported very nicely. You can open this up and just put big sticks in there and use like a Swedish fire torch. It's also nice because it's multi uh, faceted from the standpoint of size of pot. You can switch these in like this, and this is like an inch and a half. So a very small pot would work. If you want more stability, you just flip these out like this, and it gives you more stability. Cost for the stainless steel version is $39.99. The titanium version is $69.99. That is the kit that comes with the X case. As with all of these 
uh, stoves. I have a video specifically on each of them and I will leave a link down below if you're more interested in the X case and the other accessories that come with it. As far as pros go, the weight obviously four ounces. It's a very compact size. It has lots of accessories. It's optimized for the Trangia. It adjusts to fit the sizes of different pots like I said and it has a solid fuel plate that comes with it that you can use solid fuel with it. Cons? Well, I guess the cost would be the only con because otherwise this is an awesome stove. Next is the five inch stainless steel version of the Firebox stove. This comes with tons of accessories. Again, check the link down below if you wanna look at all these, but we're just looking at the stove itself. You peel off these fire sticks, pull off this ash pan, and just like the Nano, it's one piece construction. Drop the bottom down, and you are built. Ash pan goes in just like that. Material stainless steel, it is very heavy, 32 ounces. Dimensions folded are impressive, 7.5 by five by three eighths of an inch. Again, made in China and the United States to help with cost. It's very much multi-fuel capable. You can do tons with this particular stove. Like I said, check out my other videos. You can use it with a Trangia, you can use it with wood, wood pellets, charcoal. Uh, you can dry bake with this thing all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Cost is $59.99 for the stainless steel version. Pros, cost I think is very reasonable, very stable flat form and versatile accessories. It's got a large fuel capacity, pretty much any size pot or pan you can use because you can put your sticks across the top here. This is about an inch and a half or two inches, so anything that's over that you can put on top of it. Cons is the weight. That's pretty much the only con on this particular stove to me. So if that's your major problem as far as weight and you have some money to use, you can get the same exact stove in a titanium version. I'm not gonna get it out. It's basically the exact same thing, but I will tell you guys the specs. Made out of titanium, the weight is 17 ounces, again, compared to 32 ounces on the stainless steel. Same dimensions. Cost is $149.99. So the pros are all the same, but the con, of course, would be the cost. You'll have to decide whether or not something super lightweight will be worth it. It does say right here at the bottom, made in the USA. Next, we've got one of my favorite stoves, which is the pack stove from Simple Theory Gear. It can be a little pain to get it out of this stuff sack. They have changed that now with the newer models. I would like to say thanks to my recommendations. It's made out of 304 stainless steel. The weight is 11.8 ounces. Dimensions are four by 4.8. Doesn't say where it's made, but I would assume it's probably made in China. It is multi-fuel capable. It's got this little plate that comes off the bottom. If you flip it over like this, you can put uh, solid fuel right here. 
flip it over like this. You can put your alcohol stove right in the middle, and of course you can put wood, and then this flips to the top and screw it in, just like that. Cost is $29.95. Pros uh, are the cost. I think it's a reasonable cost. It's very stable. No assembly is required. It does nest with the very popular Stanley Adventure. If you pop this off and put this on the bottom, which is the way they want you to stow it, pop that on, the Stanley Adventure will fit right inside. It also has excellent ventilation, and their newer version, which is a little bit larger, the XL, has even better ventilation, in my opinion. It does have a large feed port. The cons, I would say, are the weight. Uh, it also stays hot a very long time. That's a product of the stainless steel, but once you start using titanium stoves, you get very used to it cooling off quickly. So that is one con. All right, hang tight there with me, guys. We're getting there. This is the Tokes Titanium Backpacking Wood-Burning Stove. Very easy to put together. Pull the center out, pull it up, and that pops down, and then you flip this around, and there's your stove. Made out of titanium, weighs 5.4 ounces. When it's packed, the dimensions are basically three and three quarters of an inch in diameter. Made in China, and the cost is $44.95. Pros are definitely the weight. It's also compact. It does nest inside of the Tokes 750 milliliter pot, which is a very common and affordable pot that we can use when backpacking. It's also very simple to assemble. The cons, it has a pretty small fuel chamber uh, and it can feel a little tippy at times because of the height. So that's something just to think about. That said, for the weight, it's a very nice little stove. I commented in prior videos that this was not a gasifier and I was wrong. It has a dual layer design here to try to help with that combustion. So I was wrong on that. Okay, last but certainly not least is my one of my latest purchases, which is the mini rocket stove from Hot Ash. This is a titanium stove. What I'm doing here is taking off this little wing nut. You also have a wing nut on this side, which you need to take off and pull this out. Inside, there are little pot stand for the top, okay, are the legs. There's two legs and it goes together a very specific way. I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Obviously, this is the chimney, and the hot ash goes up and down. Over here, there's two sides. This is the feed port side, and this is the combustion chamber. So the combustion chamber will go right in there like that, and then you need to use this particular leg. And then on the front side, and another way that you'll know, you can see this little notch right here, and that little notch right there. So basically, this attaches right here, and it certainly can be a little fiddly to uh, put together. 
but it's a fun little stove. And there it is. Material is titanium, except for both legs, which are made out of aluminum. Weight is 16 ounces, so it's pretty, pretty heavy. Dimensions folded are seven by 2.3. Doesn't say where it's made. I would assume that it's made in China. There are some stainless steel versions from some knockoff companies that look very similar to this. So I'm guessing it's probably made in China. The cost is $54.99. As far as pros go, I think it is compact for what you're getting. And it's pretty lightweight for what you're getting. I mean, you're getting a rocket stove. Creates a very strong flame. And it's a very efficient design like all rocket stoves. Cons, I think the cost is up there. And it doesn't come with a carrying case, which is a big bummer when you're dealing with uh, wood stoves. You can see my hands are already just kind of getting soot on them. You don't want to put this wood stove straight into your bag. If you check out the video I did specifically on this stove, I'll show you a bag that I had made uh, by a company on Etsy. The last con is that it does take a little bit of practice with this kind of rocket stove. Uh, just watch how I do it today as far as uh, getting it lit. It works well. Just make sure that you know you want to put some fluffy stuff in the top in the chimney and put the wood in the feed port. And then once it starts going, put wood into the feed port only. If you put it into the chimney, it's, it's not as effective in my opinion. So we've looked at all of these stoves. Which ones do I think are the best? Or you might say the ultimate. Well, obviously that comes down to personal preference, but I'll tell you guys how I feel about the subject. Both Firebox stoves, whether it be the Nano or the five inch are my favorite stoves for a couple of reasons. First off, it's an American company. Not every piece of the stoves are made in America, but much of them are. And he's just trying to keep things as affordable as possible so that we can get our hands on his stoves. Both the Nano and the Gen 2 five inch are very flexible stoves. You can use a multitude of fuels. They have lots of very well thought out accessories that don't break the bank, but add a tremendous amount of functionality to your stove. There's no assembly required. I think the prices are very reasonable for what you're getting. Even the titanium version, I mean, I can just imagine, this is a pretty complex piece of gear to put together to make it work correctly. It folds open and it folds closed. When you're dealing with metals, you have to make sure the tolerances are such that after all these thermocycles, it'll continue to actually work. Uh, both of mine, uh, the stainless steel, I've probably burnt in it 100 times. The titanium, I'm probably up to about 25 times. No problems at all. They shut exactly the way they're supposed to. The titanium one, sometimes it, it seems to be slightly off, but when you put those fire sticks through, it just lines everything up and it's perfect. The company is also always trying to improve their products. I think that's a really big deal. They're always releasing new stoves, new accessories, things that make our life in the woods easier. Each of these stoves has its place in my kit. Uh, and since I've gotten the titanium version, I carry it a lot more. I didn't carry the stainless steel as much because it was so heavy, but the titanium version of that five inch is awesome. Quite simply, they are the two funnest stoves for me to use. Like I said at the beginning, this is part of my ultimate series. The point of the ultimate series is to try to help you navigate the gear confusion. There are so many products on the market today. Just look at these wood stoves, tons of different variety on materials, size, foldability. What exactly should you buy? Well, the goal of the Ultimate Series is to take a look at as much gear as possible and tell you guys what I think is best. So you won't have to waste your money on products that won't meet your needs. If we can navigate that confusion and get you just to the information and the gear that you need, that's what we're looking for. As I said earlier, I have a detailed review on each of these stoves. Make sure you check them out. I'll have links down below for all of them. 
I'll also have a link to the playlist for all the other Ultimate Series videos. I think these are great videos. They've been well received so far and I really appreciate that. I have a lot of gear and I have a lot of experience using it and I'm just trying to pass that along to you guys who may just be looking for one stove instead of 10. Do me a favor guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscription button and if you want to be notified every time I release a new video, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. It took a while to do this video. I wanted to collect a few more stoves and it's taken a good long while to film it, but I've had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.